Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play the Shiva Hanukkah Edition. Anyways, we're going back up here. We gotta get through the, all this dialogue again. We got outside, so I can skip to getting outside. I only you enjoy it. It costs a bundle. Then you're. All right. <clears throat> so we went rabbinical for everything. I'm pretty sure. Wow, that uh, that sounds really weird. All right. So we agreed. <clears throat> We're going to start working out, and Joe DeMarco is going to come out, and he's the person who saves her. Wait, they... Why do you... Sell it! <clears throat> you seems like Rabbinical, like, always saves you. Oh, God, he shot him. What? Like, that, that, like, getting shot in the, like, gut, like, it almost looked like gut, almost pelvis. I guess it's right above the waist, but still. All right, so it was All stall right, first. You're on the... And then we tried to grab his gun, got shot. Grab his gun, got shot. Okay. <clears throat> now, the important thing is not to grab his gun again. I guess climb? Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, okay. So that was the jump, climb, got. <laughs> Admire the view. Admiring the view? Yes, it is nice, isn't it? Oh, it lit up again. Yes, grab his gun. Oh, you threw it off! Weak from blood loss, I couldn't keep my hold on the gun. It slid out of my fingers like melting butter. You, you momzer! You utter <laughs> nothing! What's this? You think you can knock me out like some common street punk? He was old and certainly not as strong as me, but those two bullets have taken I their toll. I am Amos Zelig! I've spearheaded the strongest Jewish synagogue in Manhattan for over 30 years. Who are you, little rabbi? Oh my god. Uh, oh god, they're all questions. Uh, um, I don't... Is this how a rabbi acts? A throw a punch is an option? Like, if we get enough wrong, do I have to do this all over again? That's gonna be annoying. Um... Well, yes, me. I am. Those tricks won't work with me, Stone. I've been playing that game since you were knee high to my tuchus. You think you can out rabbi me? Oh, we have to rap. We have to out rabbi him. Um. Uh, I see. Wait. Uh, okay. Why don't you just give up? How can you live with yourself? You yeah. Call yourself a Jew. That's rabbi-ish. Uh. How can anyone respect you? How can you face God knowing what you've done? Is all this worth your soul? Um. I, I feel like they're gonna throw in the punches, because there's an option. Or do I. Is there like a way to do this without throwing any punches? Is what they're saying? How can you face God knowing what you've done? He doesn't. No, he doesn't. How can anyone respect you? No. Is the. See, we haven't, we've called in a question his Jewishness, but never, like, attacked him with it. I mean, like, can I just punch him? I just punch him. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I guess it, how, how can you how face can God? How can you face yeah. God knowing what you've done? God knows more than anyone how the world works. I'm sure he understands. All right. Are there others like you? There's. That's not the time now. Are you happy with this life? Are you ready to die? Wow. The only one I would be sure of, but like... Can I punch him now? Oh, I can. All right. What do I, what do I ask him? I can just... Are you happy with this life, Zelig? Yes. Are you? Oh, wow. Uh... Is this how a rabbi acts? This is how the world acts. That's not true. Oh, I get it. I have to, like, say something to get him off guard, and then I can throw a punch. Alright, uh, how about... Um... 
Mm. Mm. Okay. Can you live with himself? Yourself with power, respect, and money. I manage oh. quite well. God, he's like actually answering me. <laughs> I can totally punch him. So if he answers me and he doesn't throw a punch, I think I'm a good. Um. How can anyone respect you? You think he's, you, you really think God will understand God your actions? Will understand your actions. God knows what is necessary. I'm sure he understands. And then I get him punch. Yeah, that's totally how it works. Okay, cool. I figured it out. Um, are there others like you? Are you ready to die? How can you be happy with this life? How can you? How can be you be happy, happy with, with this, this life? life? Do you see this apartment? Do you see <laughs> this view? Trust me, I am very happy. With can you say the same? Shut up. Oh. Okay, that was not the right time to punch. Um. You really think a rabbi acts this way? I told you, Stone. This is how the world is. Get used to it. I, I ask again, how can you live with yourself? How can you live with yourself? I have all the prestige and respect money can buy, Stone. I live quite comfortably. Um. Okay, so I can't. I shouldn't ask this one again. How can anyone respect you? Power breeds respect, Stone. But you've never had either, have you? Are there others like you? More than you can possibly imagine. Oh god, he punched me. Oh god. Oh cool, I just punched him back anyway. Did I just punch him twice? No, I can't. Okay. You really think a rabbi acts this way? I told you this get you Okay, so you can sort of use the same things again. Um, uh, I, I, I guess I'll, I'll I use the same the thing. Yeah, okay. So I can use the same things. You really got, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright. How could do you So you can them? catch them in a, in a, in a loop. What? Oh, okay. Aside from that one. Really think I get you. Oh, oh, okay, it just took over from there. Zelig, it's over. What do you have to say for yourself? Mazel tov, Rabbi Stone. I applaud you. To have come this far, you certainly are resourceful. Just what are you saying, Zelig? I do remember Jack Lauder very well. He came into my office eight years ago, looking to get married. It seemed that this Zionist pig-headed rabbi was against it. Oh, the things he said about you. Imagine my surprise when you showed up in my office. Yeah, I bet you were shocked, all right. I've done some checking up on you. In all these years, you've never learned to make concessions. Concessions? Concessions? The Jewish people are slowly becoming extinct. For thousands of years, we've struggled to keep our place on this planet, and you talk of concessions. As a rabbi, I do everything I can to help. And if that means refusing to conduct an interfaith marriage, then so be it. I can still look at myself in the mirror and call myself a rabbi. What are you, Zelig? You're nothing but a common criminal who consorts with gangsters and assassins. We all have our place in the big machine, Stone. And you? You're just a tiny squeaky wheel. Now be a good cog and just let me go. I know you don't have the guts to throw me over. Oh, wow. But he's... Mm. No, you know what? Fuck you. He didn't utter a sound. He merely looked at me with that knowing smirk on his face. Then he disappeared into the cold Manhattan skyline. Rudge Shree was still bound and gagged. She looked at me with downcast eyes. So I quickly untied it's her. Over? It's over, Mrs. Lauder. Your husband's murderer is dead. That was... How did... How did you do that? It had to be done. Let's go. It had to be done? I don't know Rabbi if it Stone? had to. Yes, Mrs. Lauder? 
Nobody knows this happened. No. The police don't know we're here. No. Good. I don't want to be questioned about this. And I think... I think... I think you need to stay away from me. Oh, shit. Whatever you felt you needed to do, it's done. There's no changing it. I appreciate all you've done, but... There's a darkness in you that I just don't want in my life. Jack wouldn't want it, and neither do I. That's understandable. Smoky, darkness and gloom with no end in sight. Showed no mercy to Zelig. I understand. Let's get going. Atzai melech shemoni kra The weeks sped by. Jack's bestowal arrived in the mail, and I was able to pay all my debts. I kept waiting for the police to knock on my door again, but they seemed to have forgotten all about me. Amos Zelig's death was ironically ruled as a suicide. Has anything changed for me? Not really. Back to the grind. Another week. Another Thank shut you, us. Kaplan. Debts still pile up, but they won't be a problem as long as Jack's money holds. After that, it's best not to think Is about it. Is it only in the aftermath of pain that we are justified in questioning God's fairness? Just how much pain must occur to legitimately raise the question, why do bad things happen to good people? When do we say, enough is enough? When is it enough? Oh wow, that's that's the end of the game. Wow, this is really short. I mean, I would read some reviews on uh, on Steam that said it was short, but I didn't expect it to be that short. I guess I'll give my uh, little like two cents of what I thought about it. Um, it's a good thing. It's, it's a good uh, uh, game. It's definitely short. It's fun to play. A little weird with a couple of the things that you're supposed to figure out. I didn't love the idea of searching very specific phrases for answers. Um, just because I've played games like that before and they have that sort of system and they don't uh, really... They, didn't, they never quite get the specific key phrase out to you in a way that you would be able to think about it. Oh, it's, this is the remastered version, and it's still standard definition? Jesus. Anyways. Um, interesting that the music composer changed completely, too. I think, uh, as far as like the, it, it, it showing the Jewish faith, it does an okay job. It's not great. Uh, the voice actors are... Well, the quality of the voice acting is actually kind of terrible i wish they'd given them you know i wish they were put in front of a regular microphone and you know able to uh to to accurately be recorded instead of what sounds like some like headset um but it's okay otherwise <laughs> i think Cantor josh is the uh, creator of the game all right um uh, yeah but it's a it's a good game and i uh i liked playing it for this i think since well, we're quite far into this. I know I was going to do it once, one for every day of Hanukkah, but, uh, oh, wow, there's bloopers. Well, I guess I'll go over that. <laughs> well, I have time right now. Abe Goldfarb gets into character. My name is Rabbi Stone. It's been a while. Hi, Rabbi here I am. Oh, I'm doing all right. That's okay. It's no, no great shakes as they go. <laughs> It's up in the old Torah. That's right, rocking the mezuzah. <laughs> rocking the mezuzah. That's what I like. That's how I, that's how I roll. <laughs> what? All right, well, that's interesting. Rabbi Stone says good night. Good night to you, Rabbi Zerlig. Good night to you, Rabbi Stone. No, good night to you. Good okay. Night to you. Okay. All right, Durkin's Terminator impression. I told you I'd be back. Rabbi Stone, come with me if you want to live. I've been sent back from the future by your son to protect you from Joe DeMarco or get to the chopper. All right, then. Don't make Russell Stone hulk you out. file murdering lowlife. You can go to... <laughs> All right, yeah. A little growling, never heard. Stone's <laughs> Rabbi Mad. <laughs> okay. Darkin gets a phone call. Oh, there's my phone. Excuse me a second, Rabbi. This will only take a minute. 
Abe wants to be a cowboy. I don't know who you are or where you think you get off. But I think you'd better leave. Before I do something we'll both regret. I'm done talking. <laughs> I'm done talking. <laughs> so you're all out of town. Exactly. <laughs> This show ain't big for the ain't big enough for the both of us. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, well, tough guy thing is fun. I feel like if you want to listen to these, you you should probably yeah. buy the game yourself. I might listen to some of them, but anyways, <clears throat> I'm gonna stop. Oh god, <coughs> it pulled me out here. Um, so God, there's such a long intro, and it won't let me get past it. I have to go through like all the quotes. Um. You know, I was going to try and, like, fill up all of Hanukkah with, like, everything that you can do in this game, but I don't know. I don't, I don't, there's not enough to do. What I do think I want to do, however, is I want to load my before dying save. And I'm going to try and get the other endings to the game, because I think those are the only other things that get you achievements. Just doing other endings. And that involves a, with who you kill and who you let live. I'm gonna. I have it pulled up on my phone. What I need to do Come on, right. for certain things. We'll have more privacy down here. So, I'm probably gonna skip through a lot of things, but let's see. I'm gonna try and get. Um. Pissed off the wrong. Sparing both I of them. Nice. You're your mother. What sort of you don't make. Uh, do you? I, how does? Do you? If, so if you I, do every question like before, right. that's how you get through this fight you, without him coming at you, you I guess. Care to kill or? All right. So he puts it down, and then we punch him. What? What? You? What? Fine. Who's I? Oh my God. All right, so show mercy. I'm actually surprised that we didn't get like one achievement, which I know is um oh, never mind. Okay. Oh. So there's no uh, achievement for sparing him and killing the other guy. Somehow I managed to get the one ending that doesn't have specific uh, achievement associated. Oh my god, do I really have to go through all this? I kind of wish I'd made a, a save here. I'll make sure to do a save uh, for the death versions right after. Alright, let's go straight for the note because we don't need anything else here. Sorry if I'm skipping past all this because we've already seen it, you know? I don't really need to go through this. I'm just trying to get 100% on screen. Not that I really need it on screen. <clears throat> Alright. So we're going here. And if I you all it put this no, I agree. Okay. Start. <coughs> <coughs> now, the guide I have open also will show me the correct things to never get hit in this fight, and apparently that will also get me a, uh... Why do you... And it's... Yeah, 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 I get shot. Blah, 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 blah. Now, oh... All right, so it's stall, grab gun, grab gun, climb over the edge. God, I'm going to have to go through this again and again. I admire the view. Grab gun. All right, 
So, the proper way to never get hit in this, and after this, I'll just speed through all the fights because obviously we've seen all the dialogue and everything. So, who do you think I am? Uh, you call yourself a Jew. You call yourself a Jew. You call yourself a hero? How can you face God knowing what you've done? face God knowing what you've done? God knows more than anyone how the world works. I'm sure he understands. And then you throw a punch. <clears throat> Are, there Are there others, like, others you? like you? More than you can possibly imagine. Throw a punch. Is this, this how, a rabbi, how acts? a rabbi acts? This is how the world acts. Throw a punch. And now we start uh, doing, I think, a loop. Uh, how can you how live can with yourself? You live with yourself. With power. Respect and money. I manage quite well. You really think God will understand really your think actions? God will understand your actions. God knows what is necessary. I'm sure he understands. And then you throw a punch. <clears throat> Are you happy with this Are life, Zelig? Are you happy with this life, Zelig? Yes. Are you? Uh, do you think a rabbi should act this way? You really think a rabbi acts this way? I told you, Stone. This is how the world is. Get used to it. And you throw a punch. I ask again, how can you live with yourself? I have all the prestige and respect money can buy, Stone. I live quite comfortably. And then you throw your last punch. So that's how to do it without ever getting hit back. Zelig, it's over. What do you have to say for yourself? Mazel tov, Rabbi Stone. I applaud you. To have come this far, you certainly are resourceful. Just what are you saying, Zelig? I do remember Jack Lauder. Very well. He came into my office eight years ago, looking to get married. It seemed that... Ah, uh, yeah, we've I seen all this before. What are your nothing? And now I... Oh, there we go. Never get hit. So, knock him out instead of throwing him over. And this would be the good, good ending, I guess, if you uh, only knock him out. Her eyes shine with relief, so and I quickly untied it's her. it's over? It's over, Mrs. Lauder. We'll leave Rabbi Zelig for the police. You're... you're hurt. You're bleeding all over. It'll be okay, Mrs. Lauder. Okay. You were shot. It's all right. Let's Twice. Let's get out of here. Well, all right, <coughs> if you say so. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Mrs. Lauder. Call me Raj, please. After all this, I think you deserve it. But we're going to the hospital and no argument. Sure. There we go. Ubermensch. Uh, Zelig and Rajshri survived. That's if you spare both of them. You will get that. Uh, <laughs> The weeks sped by. Jack's pistol arrived in the mail as I was built to appease all my debts. Thanks to the anonymous tip, the police picked up Amos Zelig before he regained any consciousness. He even tried to tell them that I attacked him, but thankfully Raj Shri testified on my behalf. Back to the grind. Another week, another Shaba. Has anything changed for me? Thank you, Not Captain really. Kaplan. Debt still pile up, but there won't be a problem as long as Jack's money holds. After that, it's best Is not it to think about it. Is it only in the aftermath of pain that we are justified in questioning God's fairness? Just how much pain must occur to legitimately raise the question, why do bad things happen to good people? Oh, look at that. Just how much pain. Then it hit me. God might not seem fair. We may not always feel connected to him. That is, we may feel lonely, and often do. Yet the underlying reality of our lives is that we are always connected, whether we feel it or not, whether we accept it or deny it. The connection is there. And since we are connected, we are responsible. Battling for goodness is how we give our lives meaning. Maybe there are no answers. Ultimately, we may never find that elusive truth. Yet ultimately, we may find something else. 
meaning, significance, and fulfillment. If so, that may be enough. Dear God, I hope that's enough. Oh, so there's that ending. Alright. Oh god, I can't skip the credits. <clears throat> oh, yes I can. Alright, so. Uh, there's two more endings. Of course, depending on who you kill. And all that. Oh, I can skip ahead. Alright, so we want to load. Before dying. So, <clears throat> the last two endings obviously have us deal with us with us on, killing uh, the both of them. Down here. Well, killing him and letting allowing Zelik to live, and killing him and killing Zelik, and that r involves into off two different people, things. Rabbi. I had no problem with. Anyways, I'm gonna speed through this fight because we've seen it before. All right, so here we're gonna not show mercy. Drop him on the tracks, and he gets squished. Good riddance. Wow. Oh, wow, and we get the uh, Mashuga achievement. Crazy, because we killed Joe DeMarco. All right, I'm gonna speed up uh, until I get to uh, our next point. And I'm gonna save here so that we have uh, Joe DeMarco's Hello? Uh, death. <clears throat> Mrs. Law. So theoretically, it should uh, change oh. right about here. Wait, there is one more thing. Because he's not here to come in. Why do you want to do this, Rabbi Zelig? Oh wow, he you yeah, he totally her. just shoots her in the head. Decided to dispense with the formalities. As my heart sank and her body cooled, I somehow felt like this could have been avoided. Yeah, it could have. Now, move. <clears throat> All this bloodshed sickens me. Maybe you shouldn't kill people. Anyways, I'm going to speed through this fight until we get to uh, throw him off the edge. So, if we throw him over, we should get the double kill, whichever one is that. He didn't utter a sound, he looked at me with the face of the knowing smile, uh, and disappeared in that cold Manhattan skyline. Jack. I'm sorry, Jack. A pile of bodies left behind him. Atzai melech shamoni Weeks spent by. Jack's pistol arrived in the mail as I would be able to pay all my debts. Kept waiting for the police and knocked on my door. And with Selig's death was ironically ruled as a suicide. Has anything changed for me? Not really. Back to the grind. Another Thank week, you, another shot. Debts will pile up after the first only in the aftermath of pain that we are justified in questioning God's fairness? Just how much pain must occur to legitimately raise the question why do bad things happen to good people? When do we say. Enough is enough. When is it enough? Wait, that's it? I didn't even get an achievement for that? What? Is that bugged? Well, anyways, I'm gonna speed ahead to when I get uh, to saving him from the... Uh, when I, when I don't throw him over the balcony, rather, I can't even think. We end now. 
So I got it wrong. There's actually only a uh, achievement for throwing him over regardless. You don't actually have to uh, save or or kill the other guy. It's a, as long as you throw him over, there's an achievement for it and I had already got it on my first playthrough. So there's no achievement for uh, killing both. However, there is an achievement for saving him by killing Joe. Jack. I'm sorry, Jack. And hopefully it'll pop. Yeah. Bring shame upon your fellow Jews. <clears throat> Shonda for the Goyam. The weeks sped by. Jack's pistol arrived and my debt collectors were satisfied for the time being. Amos Zellig was picked up by the police after an anonymous tip told them what lay in his Upper East Side apartment. Then I received a visitor. You're joking. I told you I'd be back. I attacked him? That's what he's saying. Held him against the balcony and threatened to throw him off. He had a gun. That nobody can find. What about Mrs. Lauder? Yeah, what about Mrs. Lauder? It's a mighty strong coincidence that that particular body was found at the scene, huh? It wasn't like that. Amos Zellig is a murderer. A lowlife. Sure he is. And I'm sure you have witnesses to back you up on this. Dun dun dun. Right. I, I can explain everything. I bet you can. Come with me and you can explain down at the station. I don't believe this. Yeah, this might be like the worst ending. Worse than keeping it all hush-hush. It just proves the old axiom, right? No good deed goes unpunished. Jack's money should cover my legal fees. I just hope there's some left over when this is finished. Might be the more unique of any of the endings, because there's actually like a different ending for it more than any of the others. But anyways, I think that should be it. I think that's every achievement and everything you can do in this game. So, um, it's a fun game. Go and check it out and uh, check out the bloopers on your time. Shiva. Yep. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys uh, whenever you know in the in the normal games, not in the holiday stuff. Bye bye.